Hey, you favorite ones, welcome back to another collective reading. Come on in, take a seat at the round table, throw a couple of coins in the wishing well if you choose to, and we'll get on into it. So I have a few downloads to go into, and I'm going to pull a couple of cards and get some messages for today. Um, I had a very exciting and full weekend and beginning of my week, so I hope all of you are getting rest. Um, if you had, even if you didn't have a busy beginning of the week, get rest when you can, as much as you can, because we are here to experience the pleasures of relaxation as much as everything else. So, I had the download come to me that even when you fail, it's done gracefully. So you make look, you make losing look good. Um, it's because you're able to take the lessons from that and really add uh, to your skill sets and add to your life. Um, learning from those mistakes and really sharpening your sword against the steel is a, like sharpening your steel is what I'm getting. Um, you're heading for center stage is what I have written down here. And... Your inner child would like you to hold their hand while you are living their dream because they have no fear and you have no limits. So that's what I first started getting into. But I'm going to say that one again. So hold your child's uh, inner child's hand uh, while you are living out your dreams, their dreams, your dreams. You're living as you're living them out for the inner child that had once um, called out for it. Um, you're living their dreams, and they had no fears when they conjured it up. They were like, "This is what I want to be. This is what I want to do, and I want to do it." Confirmation there. Uh, some of you may have Claire Gustas, where you'll get uh, burps or air pockets when you have confirmation. It's 11.22 on the time. <laughs> I saw an inception of myself. So yeah, some of you may be uh, quantum leaping at this time. Some of you may uh, be into scrying, um, water scrying or mirror scrying, whichever. Uh, if you're into that, that's just extra confirmation. Or you're doing affirmations in the mirror. Or you're, um, I'm, this is not an or thing, it is an end. You are doing affirmations in the mirror and you are stepping outside of your comfort zone and I feel like you are posting the videos of times where you may have been outside of your comfort zone. Uh, posting videos of you doing light language, posting videos of you without makeup, posting videos where you're singing, you know, like your rap battles, um, just really being vulnerable and putting yourself out there. Now, it doesn't just have to be uh, your voice, but I very strongly do feel the throat chakra being open up and expressing yourself, which also means a grounding of your sh root chakra is going on. Some of you may have uh, yourself or you brought your animals for Reiki recently, or you do Reiki on your animals or young children, uh, or just a healer. You could be a pediatrician. Uh, holistics and modern medicine is... Uh, both healers in their own sense and light workers have different paths. So there's no judgment here and there's thanks, plenty of thanks and gra gratitude to go around for that. So thank you for helping the next generation and animals. You may be a veterinarian um, or you just work, want to work or do work in a sanctuary. or just really connected with animals you may have a familiar or it, it doesn't have to be your own animal either sometimes your familiar is someone else's dog like a neighbor's dog that you get really connected to who is supposed to come into your life and teach you things um and it could be a neighborhood cat that you see at work 
all the time or at the cat cafe that you just really connected with all the time and you are able to write your paper for in distra uh, distra uh, uh write your distant distant why can't i say it right now it's for university either way Writing essays on essays on essays and proving your case with that animal. There's dog next door. I don't know if that's Atlas or Loki, but either one of you could work with the deities uh, Loki or Atlas as well. You may work with golems or um, giants. A lot of elemental feel to this that you could be pulling through at this time. So I also got the download of a like Claire uh, sentiently. Uh, or, no, I didn't get the feeling of it. Either way, uh, clairvoyance. There we go. I saw the movie Step Up 2 come to mind where at the beginning, even though they were amazing dancers, they went to a pristine academy and whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, a, lot, a lot of you could have uh, someone's uh, bark might be worse than their bite. So someone may be talking shit, um, especially if you're rap battlers, that might be the case. Um, or just... Or just ha uh, in on a debate team. Some of you may be on debate team as well. Uh, some of you may work with Persephone uh, and Hecate as they both have symbols of... Yeah, so you may be starting to have a group uh, get together with a coven for new moons. Or you may have a pre-existing one for full moons. Uh, because it, the dog's barking reminds me of when they get riled up during uh, a full moon. So that may be as well. Or shapeshifters. Yes, I was mentioning elementals. Some of you may be connected with shapeshifters as well. Trickster spirits. Um, I, for one, for most cases, found trickster spirits to be very kind. Uh, but that's everyone has their own journey. So uh, make sure that you are connected and with yourself before you start working with deity work your deity work working with deities um gods and goddesses alike uh i usually started with like mother nature and stuff like that connecting with the earth because we are of nature and we are of earth so well that's the first one three Three, one, six. So, March 16 might be really important around that time. March 16 could be important for you. But yeah, it could just be any, it could be a locker number, it could be a license plate that you see the confirmation around that time, it could be the number of damage that you did on a sh uh, when shooting someone inside of Destiny or something like that. Um, one, yeah, three, one, six. But yeah, at the beginning, they were amazing dancers, they're talented artists, they had skills, but they weren't battle dancers. They didn't know how to dance together as a group. Uh, they seemed rigid and stuff. So you're learning how to go with the flow more uh, as they adjusted over time. Uh, so yeah, they lost us first. So some of you may uh, have lost, but I don't feel like it was humiliating. I feel like you were humbled and you learned from these experience so that you can move on with a more knowledgeable approach. 
So yeah, it's not just rap battlers. It also brought to mind uh, how there was the stunt uh, dancer on set as well who did stunts for the theater group. So some of you may be in group theater, uh, drama club, uh, stunts. And when I hear stuntman, uh, I heard stuntman Mike. Uh, so death proof or death death proof and death races. So some of you may be into action horror movies. Um, that might be something that you're going into and you're worried about whether or not you'll be a good actor, good voice actor. Uh, you could be going from writing poems to novels. Or from poetry to writing rap, from, um, painting to graphic novels or graphic design, uh, track and field to marathon, singing to metal to opera, and and be going from interior design to construction or vice versa. Whatever you're transitioning from, um, you're learning how to switch currents uh yeah yeah they're giving me a little like uh squirt spud what well, i think his name was squirt um so i'm gonna be, be learning how to no i'm not saying that uh spirit i'm not gonna say that um <clears throat> a lot of you might be connecting with yourself with self grad uh self attention more as well reconnecting and learning how to heal from past uh, traumas and assaults uh, and you're learning how to reconnect with your body and feel comfortable within it i'm going to say that um i don't want to get too deep into it uh, as youtube likes to to delve out punishments very well um But yeah, inside of Finding Nemo, there was where the, they were having to enter that current flow and readjust from going from the big calm ocean in, or, or you're, you know, going from being inside of that current where it's super, super, super fast and all of a sudden you got to exit and all of a sudden they're like spinning for a bit. So yeah, changing pace might you know, leave your head a little spin for a while, but I feel like you're going to get your head on straight, get your head in the game, you know, Zach Efron, the, the, Zach Efron up, you know, Wildcats are forever. Uh, some of you might be a wild card or a wild, like, um, enjoy Wildcats. Like I said before that there was, um, some who wanted to open a sanctuary. So some of you may, uh, be spokesman advocates for wild cats or of course that brings to mind wolves as well especially with loki being around because a, a parent um and symbolisms of wolves so there's that it's also bringing to mind the fact that it's like what was one animal you think you could take on <laughs> in a fight so yeah there may be people who want to take you on a fight some of you might be in mixed martial arts or someone wants to have a healthy competitive competitiveness and rivalry which i have written down here they want me to keep going so um whatever it is that you're taking a stab at I'm getting that you'll succeed with your artistic skills and honorable fighting spirit, aka healthy competition, especially when that healthy competition is against yourself and your past work. So I feel like you're going to be um, I want to be say critical. An artistic look. I feel like you're going to take an artistic and self-compassionate approach towards how you can hone your craft. Uh, like I said before, sharpening your steel. Uh, steel sharpens steel. So I feel like you're going to be surrounding yourself with people who are 1441 on the clock. Yeah, mirroring them. So you're going to be learning how to, the people, you're going to be looking for inspiration from others. Of course, while being authentic to yourself, you don't want to 
try and um, copy their blueprint or anything else like that. I feel like you just want to um, study what steps other people have taken, you know, what didn't work for them, what could work for you. Um, and really minding your P's and Q's of the people who have uh, taken these paths before you, not saying that their path is the only good path, but you are taking it into account. Like you're shopping around for a lot of different answers uh, before, you know, um, clocking in that number. It's like, is that your final answer? Uh, the universe is like, that your final answer? And you're like, hmm, I don't know, maybe I'll call a friend. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, you're, she told me you were working towards uh, creating a an empire because that is the show uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. So I'm definitely getting the feeling that a lot of you are bringing in a lot of figures. A lot of you have a, like, if you're not bringing in a lot of money, then you're bringing in a lot of attention to yourself at this time. Um, but I feel like that's a type of currency as well. Uh, as well as like trading, bartering items, I feel like your craft is going to open up opportunities. People are going to want to collaborate with you uh, based off of your, your talents and your skill. And the fact that you're reliable, a lot of people are starting to realize that you are reliable and you are a person of your word and you do want to show up. So that's top tier right there. Uh, I wrote down extra confirmations, uh, horror movies, photographers, uh, earrings, uh, or uh, other jewelry making, uh, battle rap, busking, valedictorian, uh, speeches, shout outs in general. And this was most important I wrote down was that I feel like whomever I'm speaking to, my favorite ones, uh, I deeply feel you're appreciated and your voice is valued in your community and there's a childhood wound that's still very much present there where you may have been bullied in the past and you may um, be pushing people away a bit or not sure how to accept this type of praise and attention and uh, you're not trying to intentionally push them away you're just not used to it and it may take you some time because that's outside of your comfort zone uh, for some people uh, receiving outside validation is odd for them um, and you know uh, success uh, is scary you know a lot of people there's uh, afraid of fa failure but there is some people who are there who are afraid of success because they don't know what it looks like and it's very awkward to play on a field that isn't your home field you know going to another field to play uh, football or stepping into a different stadium that you're not used to um, being at, you know, going and teaching, uh, substituting teaching uh, for another teacher in the class and you're like the principal and you're like, oh boy, I got to do this. Uh, <laughs> it's not always easy stepping in on, you know, onto someone else's stage, stepping into an, a new environment. So give yourself some time to adjust to your sea, uh, sea legs is what spirit's telling me is like you will you will earn your sea legs it is happening for you <laughs> oh yeah 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 spirit so say uh remind everyone that this is a general reading and it may not apply to everyone so take whatever messages that you feel rings true for you and your free will and of course leave all the rest of the messages for others who may need to hear it uh for anyone who is new welcome for anyone who's returning i 
love and appreciate you. Thank you for all the kind messages and taking time out of your day to leave thoughtful uh, comments on my posts and my videos, leaving thumbs up and subscribing and sharing. It's just really wholesome as a community and that you're excited about my videos as much as I am. So yeah, and uh, for anyone who is new, we like to do something over here on my side of the channel that I normally try to do before the um, download updates, but I got super excited. So uh, I'm going to say that that exciting energy is uplifting as is. Uh, I like to do something called welcoming utopia or welcoming in utopia whichever way you want to say it, but the intention is all the same, where you want to uh, feel that sense of relief or freedom that you get when you think about things that you would want in your own personal utopia, uh, clean water, uh, free-ranging animals and getting along with each other, uh, whether that's being able to uh, plant all the foods that you want and there's trees and fruits everywhere and you don't have to worry because there's berries for days and yeah whether it's having you know uh, I don't know fresh drinking water is a pretty big one for me um, you know being able to have those who are in income support be able to be with the people they love without them being, you know, um, reprimanded for that. There's a lot of people who shouldn't be kicked out of encampments, you know, everyone having a place to live, no one being hurt. That's the kind of utopia that I would like. So, my voice is getting, yeah, voice box closing over thinking about all of it. So yeah, there's a lot going on. So. Thinking about things that you would like to enjoy, singing, listening to fairies, dancing, uh, us being able to see elementals again. That's the kind of stuff I want to wish for, you know? So, now that we got that out of the way, thank you for welcoming Utopia with me. I appreciate that. And let's get a few messages through the cards from Spirit as well. Can you get any messages on, for our favored ones on their tangible progress that they are making? I'm hearing is that you're making tangible progress. They still want me to shuffle though. Uh, what else besides tangible progress are they making? Yeah, you're seeing yourself from a different angle. Some of you may be into Shapari or uh, our rope bunnies. And like I said earlier, some of you are learning to connect back to the body and release tension from uh, past transgressions and assault. So that could be one way you're doing it for yourself. Um, for most of you, it's taking a different approach with your uh, with your art. Like um, when I was writing poems and I looked up online free different uh, courses. I like to do that every so often. Take a, a free course so there's no pressure uh, online and uh, so I can learn something new, keep myself fresh, you know. Um, one of the things was taking a course for poetry. And they said, you know, you can make amazing poetry, but why wouldn't you want to make better ones? Why wouldn't you want to get better at your craft? Like, you could be a, a grand master chess player, but why would you want to stop playing then, you know? Like, why would you want to stop trying to find better, um, your better time? Like, how fast you can finish a game? How many moves you can make in a game, you know? Um... Is it a fool's mate? Gotta love a fool's mate. Or is it a queen's gambit? Who knows? But you're taking a different approach. You're looking at it from another's perspective and realizing 
And this is bringing enlightenment to you. It's illuminating you, knowing that maybe you've been too hard on yourself and you were getting, yeah, you were getting hung up on your past mistakes and you were getting hung up on how well you would do, whether or not you would do good. And then you just did it. You put yourself out there on the wire and you realize that, you know, putting yourself out there and being vulnerable had much a bigger payoff than the instant gratification of um, avoiding this success. We eventually get to love that feeling of getting away with not having to do stuff. It's exciting. It's rebellious. So sometimes we get that rebellious feelings towards wanting to be successful. And we got to make it playful to be successful again. You know, back in the day, when we would run, we would run, we'd be like, I'll race you. And it'd be exciting. Or it's like, I'll race you up the stairs. And you're like, when you're like, or you'll race your dog and be like, ready, set, go. And you'll like race to the car. And it's fun. You take your booty all the way to the gym and you get on that treadmill. No music, no shows, same window to look out every single second. No different, nothing different on a treadmill. You're not getting anything different. It'd be boring. It would take a lot to get the motivation. So I feel like you're switching it up. You're taking the time to make your own motivation. Make your own magic. Maybe you're speaking affirmations over your um, your equipment. Being like, I arrived safely to you when you get in, into the car. Or you're like, I make amazing food every time you make the uh, make food. Or like... I enjoy time with myself when maybe, you know, you have your first time alone for the day and the kids are gone and you're like, I enjoy time with myself. Um, you know, really changing that perspective and illuminating whatever it is for you that really you're taking a different approach towards your success. mind yeah some of you might be feeling like your budget's a little tight the deck was trying to catch on my ring Some people feel like you're a catch. So for those who are in a partnership, your partner feels like you're a catch. And for those who are manifesting love, I feel like when they come in, they're going to feel like you're a catch. Yeah, especially with the page of cups trying to pop out there. Can we get more for our lovely favored ones, please? Yeah, the world card. So for the world card I have here, um, huh. 
I don't know why I keep getting this Daft Punk song. Around the world, around the world. Some, some of you may do uh, sound audio engineering because that would take a lot of sound engineering to in order to do it just repeatedly, just the same song, uh, sound repetitively like that. Um, I feel like uh, Daft Punk that has a lot of sound engineering going into their work. Um, oh, are you are the type of person who really dresses up for your stage performances? Uh, you may have a persona. Uh, you may travel around the world as well or are known worldwide. Uh, this might be because you have long distant friendships or a long distant relationship as well. You may have heritage and guides from different parts of the world. Yeah, I feel like you may wear masks or have some sort of uh, stage costume that you wear when you perform. Some of you are passing the torch on to the next generation. I feel like some of you are learning to uh, fall in love with sobriety just because with the fish, with uh, fish, usually Pisces are considered to be ones who are have an addictive personality. Uh, so the fish brought to mind uh, it, but also the cup and bringing love to something. I just feel it, and it, the flowers blooming. I don't know. It's something that came to mind. Yeah, your music theme might be well-traveled or you're just well-traveled. You may have moved a lot while growing up and now you're finding, finally finding the place that you've fallen in love with and where you want to move and live and like raise your children. We get one more message to finish it off here, Spirit, please. Ooh, 33 on the clock. So you may have Life Path 6, uh, Life Path 33. Uh, you might be master builders. You like to build up your community, uh, commute, especially with communication. You may be building things through your voice. Um, Or just speaking out for things that need to be built up in a community. Upside down or did I add the, add the deck upside down? Uh, Knights of Materials. So yeah, a lot of you may love succulents or uh, roses. A lot of you may work with the fairies because or elementals, as I already stated a couple of times here, uh, with the rose. It reminds me of Briar Rose or Briar Rose uh, from Sleeping Beauty. I love it because it also ties in with black beauty. So I feel like a lot of you just don't know how beautiful you are and resilient. Um, and you're, you can go the distance.
Where is material? Cause we live in a material world and I am a material girl. Yeah, so a lot of you are learning how to indulge in yourself without feeling like you're materialistic. So yeah, uh, a lot of you may be trying to be as minimalistic as possible while also indulging in uh, enjoying, you know, to pampering yourself, knowing that you deserve to have nice things. Uh, some of you are doing that through buying experiences instead of uh, items, which is what I was taught during uh, Science of Wellbeing, a psychology uh, course you can take free on online from Yale. Uh, there's also a podcast as well if you look up Science of Wellbeing. Uh, Laura Santos, I believe was my teacher's name. Um, but yeah, it, say you have an experience and you go on vacation, you're going to think about that vacation. It's going to bring a pleasant memory as long as you had a good vacation, obviously. But it brings back that good memory and you can think back on it and think back on it and think back on it. And guess what? It's beautiful. You try moving there though, then you will get used to it. It'll become your new normal. Therefore, it will just be normal everyday stress, uh, just routine. It'll lose that lackluster. So when you go on vacation, it has the good decency to F off after so that you can enjoy it in little doses. So some of you are learning that, you know, some people are better in small doses. You're learning how much uh, boundaries you want to put up with people. You realize, you know, this person is fun, uh, but after a while they get to be too much for my, uh, too much for me, my energy field. Um, it's not that they're a bad person or toxic. It's just that I need to worry about my, um, whether or not you're having sensory, whether or not you need, oh, excuse me, take on too much energy. Yeah, and you need that time to release that energy. Yes, it's like with the yawn, you need time to release that energy. This night loves to tend the fields of his success. Yes, all oh, talking about your success. Ooh, you make you you make even losing look good like come on like on, even on your wish day you still look like you a stallion baby <laughs> so yeah pro productivity and diligence paying off hard work steadfastness uh, determination safety planting and tending seeds for the future uh, financial security foundations yes you're building upon your foundation and it is going oh so well the knight loves to tend to the fields yes success he drew <laughs> He derives great joy from till, uh, tilling the soil and removing the tiniest of weeds, knowing that it will make a difference in the future. He once tried to take great risks with his field, working with long sleepless spurts with giant showy plants that would reap greater rewards. Most of the large Plants withered when he worried about them overtook his ability to just be, to just do. He soon found that he was much happier without the splashy uh, accolades, that he felt infinitely more confident with his beautiful little succulents that had offered guaranteed stable success as long as he was consistent. He shares a message of relaxing into the tasks you love and finding meaning in your work. 
Your diligent routine will tell you where you are headed in life. So create a steady foundation that supports your dreams. And all the fabric, lights and roses tilted safely. Bread it brings. The loyal duty of our poses consists earthly things. Amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, am I seriously going to forget his name right now? I know you all won't, so... Um, they're like, hey, uh, Outcast is like stuck in my head and like, oh, what's his name? Either way, he just came out with a whole album of for a flute album and everyone's like, why aren't you rapping? And he's like, I don't have to do anything to prove to you. And it was still successful. Every single person wanted to see what his flute was about. And I'm sure there will be plenty of great samples from it for, like, the next generations of generations. So, yeah, planting seeds for the next generation and, like, passing that baton to the next generation and letting them know that they can be soft, they can be gentle, they can just take their time and play flutes with the, the fairies. Like, it's, you don't have to be so serious all the time until you can take a different approach. Um, of course, they created status for themselves first and then did whatever they want. So, you like, you know, you're working your way. You're creating, you know, stripes on stripes. Um, and then eventually over time you realize he's like, you know, making rap for everyone. Yeah, that was gratifying. Uh, in the past because it brought me success but it didn't bring me a spark to my soul and I feel like that's what you're doing is learning where your spark is and really just like breathing life into that spark and one more card for the road one for the road yeah some of you might like go kart racing or racing um Especially games, because I'm getting Crash Bandicoot. Um, TNT, yeah, so you're definitely dynamite. You're blowing up right now. Because in the final race in uh, Crash Bandicoot against the TNT a dog, I should know. Nitro, Nitrous, Nitro. Um, I forget what his name is. Yeah, and they, they set up an explosions all over the map, so people might be setting you up, and even if they do set you up, you still somehow manage to reach it to the other side. So there could have been family that was setting you up for failure um, when you were growing up, and you cut them off, or friends, and maybe even yourself. Self-sabotaging is totally real, and it happens. Um... But yeah, I feel like there could have been family that tried to set you up for failure. And now you're making sure that you're uh, next of kin and uh, your descendants don't have to deal with that anymore. Uh, I wish I could remember the story of Black Beauty. I feel like it was like the black horse and... Uh, hold on. I like it. I'm gonna do it. I know it's not professional, but you want to know what? I am authentic, not professional. I don't. I can be both. <laughs> Black Beauty. Uh, novel. Yeah, it was through the eyes of the animals. So some of you may do readings and tarot readings or mediumship for passed on uh, familiars and animals for others. Or you may have an animal that stays by you as one of your guides that you may notice come through like a, a bunny or a cat. 
you know, whatever it is, goldfish, it could be there for you. Because uh, the Black Beauty was classic novel telling the story from the horse's uh, perspective. A lot of you might like the movie uh, Spirit as well. Uh, because I know inside of that movie, it was about uh, from the perspective of the horse too. So yeah, a lot of you may be seeing your parallel lives as well when you're going back um, in past life regressions. You may be going back to a time where you weren't just human. Yeah, you're going back in time to different timelines where you may remember yourself as an animal or as some sort of creature uh, or elementals as well. So that could be extra confirmation of what's going on for you at this time as well. One, uh, four, five, five, five. So big changes. I'm taking this one. Yeah, the priestess wouldn't go back in either. So I guess I'm taking two. So we have the high priestess, uh, crescent moons or the moon phases may be uh, important to you as well as light language, uh, room casting as well. Yeah, you may be receiving light language and DNA coding updates inside of your dreams. Yeah, you're also manifesting uh, a counterpart at this time. If you don't already have one, if you do have one, then it's going to deeper, uh, you know, it's deepening your emotions for each other becoming stronger and more deep and for those who are manifesting a partner whether it's friendship uh intimate or business partner i feel like it's coming in and you'll be very well matched and complement each other um some for some of you this is through school some of you may have met through school or are going to be meeting through or will be teaching each other Great valuable lessons uh, with the school of fish there. Some of you may be in dancing classes, a lot, maybe taking couples classes together, maybe like learning to cook together, learning to uh, dance together, uh, just uh, doing a song together, whatever it is that you're going to be doing. Uh, so for some of you, this is teaching your kids and learning how to be gentle and how to give them the grace that you didn't and this is healing the uh, DNA of the bloodline then that's how you're getting DNA codes to be upgraded is um, is upgrading for your family line as well so yeah that's everything I have for you today uh, thank you everyone for coming through. I appreciate anyone who is new and uh, Yeah, for any of those who have been my day one a ones Hello, and I appreciate you like this is amazing and yeah, I think we're at like 133 now, which is like incredible um, Yeah, I, d I don't know how to express it enough. It's just I've always had this like pull at my heart to want to help other people and I learned at one point that I had to learn to help myself and once I did I wanted to dip my feet back in the pool of helping others and the fact of that it's so much more receptive this time uh, lets me know that I did do a good job and I did take the right path and choices because I did take care of me and others are inspired now and I feel like that's a lot of for you as well so I wanted to remind you that yet yet again that you are deeply appreciated and your voice is valued 
in your community. So, uh, yeah, I hopefully you all enjoyed it and remember to eat, hydrate, rest, and of course, have fun. Bye.